everyone, this is Adam Barton with UploadWP.com. Uh, last week we showed you how to automate your WordPress posts to Facebook using Twitter feed, uh, which is a great service, but the only problem is when Facebook looks for the link, it tries to find a picture, and if you don't have a featured image set, it'll just choose one, usually your header image, or it'll post the link with nothing at all. Uh, this can be problematic, so in order to fix it, we're going to use a plugin called WP Facebook Open Graph Protocol, which is a pretty complicated sounding name, but really all it does is allow you to set a default image to be used as your thumbnail on your Facebook posts. So let's take a look. First thing you're going to do is search for the plugin under your admin menu. Go up to Add New and do a search for WP Facebook Open Graph Protocol. Alright, there we have it, the first option. We're just going to install it. Activate it. And there we have it. Now we're going to click Settings. And it's going to ask us for some information here. Now there's two different ways to go about doing this. The first is the simplest. Uh, if you're posting to your personal account or to a page that's really only managed by you, you can just enter your uh, user account ID, which is everythingafter.com. So for our uh, demo site here, it would be all this information. The second way is by creating a Facebook application, which is helpful if more than one person manages your page uh, and you want the application to not be tied to any one of them. Uh, since that's the a little more complicated way, we're going to show you how to set it up there. So we're going to click Create Facebook App, which is going to open up the Facebook Developers page. Now if you haven't uh, made any Facebook apps before, it's going to ask you to register as a developer. Uh, just click that link, go through the steps, you'll probably have to verify your account with your mobile phone number if you haven't done that. And once you're finished with that, it'll take you back to this screen where you can click Create New App. Now all you need to do is name the app, so we're just going to name it WordPress Tutorial and hit Continue. It's going to ask you for a security check. And then once you pass the security check, it'll take you to your app's uh, administration page. The only information we need for this, since it's very simple, is just the app ID. So we're going to copy that over and paste it into the field. Now you have to set which image you want to be used. Uh, you can either use an existing image on your site or upload a new one. I already have one uploaded, so we're just going to find it under Media, Library. We're just going to use this picture of my cat. Now if you open up the image, you can find the URL of it down here at the bottom. So we're just going to copy that and paste it into the field. Now there's an option here that you can tick. If you uh, tick this box, what it'll do is it'll always use that image. If you don't, it'll use it only when it can't find a featured image. Uh, I think that's a better choice because if you do set a featured image, you may want that to appear on Facebook. So we're going to leave that unchecked. Then we can go ahead and save our changes. And now we're just going to make a test post. Uh, all this is assuming you already have the feed set up for automation with Twitter feed and you can check out uh, last week's article on how to do that. So we're just going to go ahead and add new. Just do a little test post here. And now we can take a look at the post and we'll see that there's no image set. So if we weren't using that plugin, it would use this image as the thumbnail, which being that it's such a landscape-oriented photo, doesn't look the best on Facebook. So then after an hour or so, or however often you have your feed set to refresh, you can go check your Facebook page, and you'll see the picture you have set under the post. That's all there is to it. This has been Adam Barnt with UploadWP.com. Thanks for watching.